Hello everyone, Chevy Fire here. Welcome back to my GD script tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about signals and signals is Godot's version of the observer pattern. Think of it as a way to message other nodes. So first, let's look at because uh, signals, signals are a core part of the engine. So at least every node extends the base node. So if you look over here in the nodes tab, you can see that the node has these six signals here. And the node is also an object, so it also has these signals. So all of these would be on every node. And those nodes have their own signals. And for example, here's a label. It's a node, and it has the same stuff here. And it has, it's on a canvas item, so canvas item has its own built-in. And then it has these for the control node itself. So if you want to create your own signals, that's what we're going to cover today. First, use the signal keyword. I'm going to use this label for an example. So here, let's go ahead and make a signal. And let's call this rand number, for example. You can either leave it like that, or you could pass in a value. So let's put number here. And you could save that. So this is fine as it is. So if you want to connect a signal, you need to either, there's two ways to do this. You could either go here on the node, and you see the signal over here. This is what we just created. You could double click on it, and you could connect it to a label, for example. And the signal needs a script to be attached to. So the label already has an empty script. When you connect it, it creates a function for you and pass a number in. Or if you want, you could actually come in the ready function here, for example, and then do rand number dot connect you could grab that label the label and pass a function or uh, maybe let's call it get number and we could we have to create this uh, function over in the label script let's say func get number and we have to pass the number in and let's just pass for now so that's two ways the two ways to connect so doing it by script here is useful for when an object isn't actually in the scene yet. And it's been instance for example and doing it from the inspector here is when the object will most likely remain in the scene for the majority of the time so let's just stick with this method for now let's go back in the node and remove this one so let's pass here all right so to emit a signal you can do this in two ways the old way is emit signal it's a keyword we could find random number here and we could pass in the value so let's say rand rand i and then put a modulo and put a thousand for example so this returns a number between 0 and 999 and if we run this you get nothing so let's first go back here do something with that so on the label we have the text variable so we could set that to be a string and pass that number in and we could go back here now and run there you go and let's add a way to quickly refresh the scene there you go. So I'm using an input function. So just check if the key was pressed, any key at all, and then just reload the scene. I'm pressing space here. And there you go. So you just get in all the random numbers and that should work. Now the second way, this is the more modern way to do it. You could actually call random number as a variable and then say connect or sorry, emit. And then you pass in that same random here. So rand. I 1000. Let's uncomment that and run again. There you go. This was the old method, and this is the new method as of Godot 4. But both are here just for compatibility, or you know. So now that there is a connection, you can now disconnect from a function by doing rand number that disconnect, and we could get the label, the label, and then get its function so it will be this one and uh, stick in there and that should do it but we won't be able to tell from here so we first have to do something that is get connections you have a function in the signal called get connections and if we print that out here we'll get this one connection and then we could print it again and then we'll get an empty connection so save that and run it there you go so first call to that function you get the node then after that we get the empty because we disconnected it. The reason I did it this way is because reloading the scene actually reconnects everything. 
we see what happens here. Alright, that should be it. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.